Hey, welcome back. It's back to the basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking stateful inspection. What state are you in? I'm in a fun state. Let's go! Welcome back. Back to the basics. We are talking stateful inspection. It's something that I love to talk about. What is it? Well, stateful inspection, anytime you're going to, well, not anytime, but most times you're going to the internet, stateful inspection will be involved. And so what that means is it's going to track the connection state going outbound so it can let the return traffic inbound because typically you're gonna be going through some type of filtering device to get to, get to the internet. And there's gonna be an ACL on the outside that doesn't allow the dynamic sessions to come back in. So how do you address the traffic coming back? Stateful inspection is that answer. So when a source uh, or a host or a, a client on the inside of the network goes out to the internet to go to a web page, goes to facebook.com, it's gonna make an HTTP HTTP session out to the internet and uh, there's gonna be some traffic coming back with the content you wanna see on your web browser. In order to get that through, there is a, a method called stateful inspection. That method, what it does is it matches the source IP, the source port, the destination IP, and the destination port and builds a database and says, based on this, I know what the return traffic is gonna look like. The source port, the source IP, the destination port is all gonna be reversed. So it dynamically builds a rule in the firewall or the filtering device to allow that return traffic to come in. It's a great technology. And if we did not have this, this, uh, this technology, internet access and security as you know it would be much harder to deliver. But there are some risks and there are some best practices. So as you enable stateful inspection, it allows a client, and if we had no ACL on the inside of the uh, filtering device, I could build a connection out to anything I want and it would al automatically allow that traffic through. So if I was an attacker and I was on the inside of the network and I decided I wanted to open up a specific port to another host, I could do that by leveraging stateful inspection. I could create a false session out to the internet um, with a source and destination IP and a source port that I wanna open up and then it would open up that, that port and allow that traffic to come back into the network. So best practices are to put some ACLs on the inside of your firewall or filtering device to filter out things that you may not want or allow. Things like maybe SSH, uh, limiting it to the standard internet protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, DNS, uh, maybe mail. Maybe you only filter mail, allow your mail servers to send out mail because a host shouldn't really be using port 25. So those are some of the best practices to use on a firewall to control some of the stateful inspection, but I digress. So that is uh, stateful inspection as we know it. It's really just a database source destination. It knows what it should expect on the other side, dynamically builds a rule on the firewall to allow that traffic back in the network. Thus, we have internet connectivity and life is good. If I said anything in here that you want more information on, or maybe you just wanna leave a comment, do it. Make sure you hit like and subscribe so you can get more of these cool videos and we can keep giving you what you want. Thanks for watching, peace out.